and welcome back to Who Would Win? Tuesdays Who Would Win? Uh, Pre-recorded on Monday. Uh, this one comes to us from the. Hopefully, I wrote this name down right. O P I H Gaming A M V. Who asked the question? Who would a fight Zoro from One Piece versus Midnight Macbeth from Fairy Tale? Now, this is, I guess, uh, Midnight is going to try to avenge uh, Urza's loss from Death Battle, even though they were enemies. Uh, now, Zoro is a member of the Straw Cats crew. He, his goal is to become the greatest, or was at least, become the greatest swordsman in the world. Uh, he uses a special style known as a three-sword style. I mean, he's skilled with just one, two swords as well, but he can actually use the third sword in his mouth and use it effectively. Uh, he's one of the toughest members of the Straw Hat crew, able to take a severe beating and keep moving forward. One of the prime examples people like to use where he was fighting against a cyborg bear man. I can't remember. Kuma was his name. And basically, the, he was able to take people's pain and, th uh, and just, you know, turn it into a, um, uh, like, physically um, manifest it into these, like, heart-shaped or pod-shaped bubbles. And basically, when uh, he did this to Luffy, he just says, you're going to have to take, you want to you do this? Take on all his pain. Zoro just looked him straight in the face and just did it, and it should have killed him, and it just didn't. He just, like, standing like a badass afterwards. He's cut through mountains, basically. Giant golems. He can use both, I believe, observation hockey and armament hockey. These are special... They don't, I, I know hockey has explained what it is. I don't know how to properly explain it without having the information up in front of me at this time. Hockey is kind of like a natural, a natural ability people can access. Arm and hockey basically coats your arms or, or coats an item in basically a black thing of natural armor, which toughens it up. Uh, Conqueror's or uh, observation hockey is, as it says, uh, basically a way of killing to observe your surroundings without actually looking. Kind of gives you a bit of like an ultra instinct thing. Zoro is extremely skilled, capable of using, um, I can't remember the name of the techniques, but uh, capable of creating an illusion that makes it look like he has nine arms, nine limbs, but he's only swinging with the two plus his um, plus the one in his mouth. But still, it has the same effect. Um, and I don't and I don't keep up with One Piece as it is, so I don't actually know currently what Zoro's abilities are or are. But uh, Zoro One Piece, why don't we? Uh, why don't we actually just take a quick look and see what Zoro is wearing? I know he also learned to. I, I do actually have one of the few shonens that I've. When they were doing Shonen Jump, um, one of the sh few Shonens that uh, I picked up uh, while one P uh, that had one piece in it had him going up against an individual who could basically um, turn his abilities. His ability, his double fruit, allowed him to turn into basically a living sword and be a lot as hard as steel. That said, um, that said, Zoro ultimately learned how to cut steel. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, he has a spiritual aura that has been shown to have an animal-like spirit occasionally manifesting around him when ready to attack when he used it against Mutoryu. Uh, the aura has not been indicated or any result of hockey. Rather, it's mainly noted as a manifestation of his killing intent and tremendous power. His physical strength is immense. Uh, cable lifting, uh, huge weights, uh, after the Thriller Bark arc. Um, even more notable, he demonstrated enough power to punch, uh, to redirect a punch from ores capable of causing massive structural damage. Two years uh, later, was able to use his swords to withstand the teeth of Dragon Number 13, a giant dragon with extreme physical might. He's able to cut through buildings. Um, speed and agility, he's, he's got well beyond bullet time at this point. Um, in terms of his swordsmanship, he is a master, like I said, of swordsmanship. Uh, although his he's also able to create a giant gust of wind with his sword style, uh, in, uh, str in uh, uh, actual uh, pure strength. Uh, let's see here. Anything else? Uh, not much else that I could really go over. Exactly. It's just other variations of what he does. So Midnight Macbeth was a villain in. Let me see here. Which arc was it? Uh, the or uh, Oras. Or, oh god, Orsian? Or Orsian Seat's arc? Um, uh, so, and then he later comes out. It's from what I understand, he's still a villain by the end, but he ultimately still is, uh, goes to help them out to fight the bad guy kind of thing. Uh, 
Sí, es igual, sí, okay. So, his magic was known as Reflector Magic. A reflector is a ma is Macbeth's exclusive magic, which has the ability to redirect, distort, and twist all manner of ob objects, save for living things such as human beings. Uh, reflector is an extremely powerful magic, which has received praise from uh, the former members of the Ten Wizards, uh, saints, um, who, while he was in a weakened state, felt uh, fell to it. Uh, Macbeth claimed that he that his use of it made him the strongest member of the group he was in, surpassing even Brain. However, in truth, he was second only to Brain's alter personality, Zero. He can create invisible sides, ethereal sides, of multiple shapes and multiple sizes and numbers, which can basically just cleave through you without any difficulty. A distortion shield, which basically is, as it sounds, able to twist and make everything, uh, able to twist everything and make it very difficult to hit him, as he can freely distort any incoming attack and negate their effects even turning them against the very same opponents. He's capable of even doing this in his sleep. Spiral Pain, a powerful spell that uh, which he initiates by swiping one of his arms for himself. Uh, the, ind uh, the index finger stretched and the others bent as if he was pointing to someone. Uh, this prompts the intended target, located some meters away from Macbeth himself, to cut within a vortex of the stored in air, which inflicts heavy damage upon them, seemingly striking them with the cre uh, incredible brute force Covering them in bruises and shattering armors as resilient as Rosa Scarlet's heaven wheel armor, leaving her afterwards. Uh, or afterward. Uh, nightmare basically creates illusions, distorts uh, perception. He can apparently ref uh, re uh, refract the lights around him, becoming invisible, and at the same time being shown capable of levitating in midair, appearing and disappearing as though he was teleporting. Uh, personification magic utilizes this magic transform dolls and entities with life, a purpose. And ability to use magic. Uh, through a lock of Zero's hair, Macbeth creates a, a, a Xenotopian Cardinal, which trades both Bran and Zero. Um, through Lucie's doll, Galanza, Macbeth creates the Mistress of Mimicry and Deception, enhanced reflexes, and expert combat. Um, uh, so, yeah, he is a. And he had former magic as well Darkness magic, which he no longer has. Um. Yeah, let's be saying, a type of magic that he has learned. Um, uh, he sacrificed the future, which would. Uh, yeah, I'm just reading up on it real quick, sorry. Um, Death uses the magic the same uh, way that Bran did, allowing him to cast dark uh, power, different forms to attack his targets. Trying to become like his father, Beth also learned that Zero's most powerful spell, Genesis Zero. Uh, so, But this is apparently a form of magic he no longer has. So these two meet in combat. And it does become a bit of a problem. Now, Zoro is not, I mean, he is a master swordsman, sure. But Zoro can certainly handle himself in a hand hand fight without too much difficulty. But the problem Zoro is actually going to face here is the fact that the reflector magic, hes it's going to reflect his swords. It, there's, there's literally he has in terms of actual physical attacks with his blades that are going to be able to do anything naturally. Now, that said, however, Zoro's speed is clearly on a higher level, from what I can tell, than Macbeth. So, even though Macbeth, uh, Macbeth's, or Macbeth's, Midnight's Reflector Magic, it is Macbeth, though, I'm trying to say Midnight, because for the sake of the title of the video, Midnight's Reflector Magic, um, it, it, it's very likely he's not fast enough to stop Zoro, unless he's constantly got some sort of reflector magic going on. Uh, and even that's not, even if that's the case, Zoro still can attack from a distance with air. The, um, what was it? Uh, Spiral Pain? Zoro survived worse than that, certainly. The Source Shield's going to be a problem. And Invisible Sides? Um, I mean, Zoro can certainly counteract in a certain uh, degree thanks to Observation Hockey. But he's still going to have to avoid getting cut up. Uh, like, he's not immune to that. He's still human. Ultimately, I think this comes down to, one second... Oh, comes down to experience and sheer physicality over ability. While reflective magic would be normally be a good counter for someone like Zoro, Zoro's physical abilities, I think, are enough to overcome that and bypass uh, the reflector just because he's not going to have enough time to react to Zoro ultimately. So I would probably go with Zoro in this fight. He's fought more. He's fought tougher individuals. Than, um, than Midnight, from what description I'm getting of Midnight. 
but that doesn't mean he's infallible. Uh, so ultimately, I I would say still Min, uh, Zoro, but Midnight I think would give him a firm a, a firm challenge up until Zoro decides to actually take it seriously and just kind of blitz him. Uh, so I go Zoro in this fight. Who do you got in this fight? Let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to re put, uh, review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who would win: Star Wars, Super Magic, whatever. And doing the thing I do on the channel. Put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to that at some point. So I gotta just pre-record my Lantern Corp video for today, and I'll be done. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.